Some call it low calorie nature of AI systems revenue. Is it low calorie for the foreseeable? Well, good morning, Carla. Thanks for having me. We did what we said we'll do, and we had a very strong quarter where we had double digits year over year revenue growth. And to your point, it was all on the back of converting an amazing order book we have in AI and continue to add to that order book. However, uh, it's also fair to, to say that we actually improve operating margins quarter over quarter by 50 basis points, despite that makes heavily weighted to AI. And I will say that the reason why the gross margin, not the operating margins, the gross margin is year over year down is because we have less contribution from the networking business, which, as you know, is going through a market transition uh, through the cyclicality we normally see in each of the businesses. So the main driver for the gross margin decline was not AI. In fact, our AI business, our server business, grew operating margins year over year by 70 basis points. That's actually like an industry-wide issue that, that you've brought up that others have talked to us about. I think the difference with you, Antonio, is the customer base is like much more enterprise-centric. And I think on the call you talked about improvement in margins relating to that. Could you just talk a bit more about how the enterprise customer is going to push you forward? Absolutely. And uh, as you know, at HP Discover in Vegas, we introduced an HPE private cloud AI offering, which I call it an AI in the box set, which is actually a full turnkey solution for enterprises of all sizes to train and deploy inference for their specific applications. And, and that offer is targeted specifically for enterprises, including very specific vertical solutions built on top. And we just made that offer available just two days ago. It's now available for global availability ordering, and we are excited about that. Now, in yeah. the order book we announced this quarter, we had $1.6 billion of new orders, and mid-teens of those orders are enterprise-related. Let's just talk about macro challenges to those enterprises you sell to. Are we seeing a pullback in confidence on spending? Actually, I have not seen it. Uh, you know, in fact, we saw orders growth in all our businesses on a sequential basis, which tells me, Caroline, we are on a recovery. In fact, our traditional server business had double digit year over year and sequential growth in orders, which also tells me there is no cannibalization from the AI servers into the traditional servers. And it makes sense, Caroline, because when you think about these legacy workloads, some of them are not even you know, cloud native workloads, it makes no sense to put it on a more expensive infrastructure, which should be focused on really training these models with their data so they can get the time to value from the, the deployment through the business process. And then on the networking side, which obviously has been a more negative story in the last few quarters, in line with the peers, by the way, we saw sequential order growth across all geographies, and it were, were driven by the wireless line, um, the SASE deployment, which obviously security is very important at the edge, and data center networking. Antonio, you talked about your fiduciary duty in, in pursuing damages in the sad incidents around Mr. Lynch. Just because this is the first time your, our audience is hearing from you, you know, explain that fiduciary duty and, and basically what your end goal is in that piece of, of litigation. Well, listen, Ed, the, the Dr. Lynch death is a tragedy, as are the death of others in the, on the ship. So clearly, it's a, it was a sad moment. However, it does not change what happened. You know, the UK judge uh, ruled that the company is victim of fraud. That ruling happened last year. And as a physical issue, duty, we need to see the, the finalization of those proceedings. And, and obviously, our duty is to also to record the damages on that fraud. So we have to see it through. That's where we are. And uh, we hope to hear soon what are the next steps based on the proceedings of the judge.